Hey guys, welcome to JPT. I'm Carson G, and this is Just Plain Tech. In today's video, we are going to configure Slackware. Now, let's say we've already installed Slackware. Now, we are going to configure it. And what we're going to do is we're going to enable Wi-Fi, which some of you say that you've been having problems with. So, we're going to do that. We're going to configure Slack package, which is the internal Slackware package manager. We're going to install two external package managers, such as G Slapped and SBOUI, plus the front ends for them. Okay, once you're on your Slackware desktop, make sure you're logged in as root. And the first thing we're going to do is enable Wi-Fi capabilities. As you can see down here, we have absolutely no Wi-Fi capabilities enabled right now. We're going to solve that with one simple command. You can just open the console and we're going to type in chmod plus x etsy slash rc dot d slash rc dot Network Manager. Alright, so now this command, make sure you have it exactly as I do. I'm just going to click enter. There we go, that should do it. Now we can just type in reboot. Alright, now that we have booted back into our Slackware desktop, now you can see over here we have the little Wi-Fi icon. And there we go. We have Wi-Fi available. So on your first attempt to connect to Wi-Fi, we'll bring this little thing up right here. You're just going to want to click Next. Yes. Classic Bullfish encrypted file. And I'll enter my password, and then we'll move on from there. All right, we'll just click Finish. And now you'll want to enter that password. And then you might want to have to connect to your Wi-Fi again to get it to update. And for some of you... This may work, but for me, it actually did not work. So we're going to run another command to fix that. So really what we're going to do is you see this down here. You'll probably get this that says DHCP fail to start. We're going to have to run a command to fix that. And of course, we're going to have to reboot after we do it. So yeah. All right, so we're going to open up a terminal. All right, and we're going to type in nano etsy network manager whoops manager slash conf dot d slash zero zero not oh oh zero zero hyphen d h c p hyphen client dot c o n f that will nano that and you see how this is uncommented right here we're just gonna wanna do comment that now we're gonna go down to d h c p client and we're going to want to uncomment that all right and that should work for most of you once you reboot if that doesn't work then you're going to want to recomment that and uncomment that and if that doesn't work you'll have to look further into that but this should work for just about anybody who doesn't already have wi-fi working correctly so now we're just going to do control x y and then we'll save it. And now we're going to want to reboot. Alright, now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to configure Slack package. By now you should have Wi-Fi working. If you don't still have Wi-Fi working, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to help you out. But this should have Wi-Fi working for just about everybody. So, you're going to do Slack package 
update and it's going to spit out an error telling you that you need to edit this file etsy slack package mirrors so we'll just do nano and we'll paste that in here we go and now down here you can see there's a whole list of mirrors to select from so you're just going to want to pick one and just uncomment it which means basically like for example just you know take away the little hashtag so yeah I'm gonna select one and then I'll get back once you have selected a mirror you're gonna wanna do slack package update alright and as you can see it will get the mirror and if for whatever reason it doesn't correctly get your mirror then and it spits out an error saying that try a different mirror then you can just go back and then try a different mirror until it works okay so now that that is done we'll just clean this up a little bit type in clear um so slackware 14.2 came out in 2016 and it doesn't download updates while it's installing like Ubuntu or any Debian based distro would so we're gonna have to download the updates to Slackware unless you want an outdated operating system and to do that we're gonna do slack package help and now you can see this is just an example to give you all the things you can do with slack package but this is the command we're gonna want to type in slack package upgrade all we'll just paste that in and then it will take a while maybe a couple minutes oh yeah we'll just click enter but it will upgrade your system and not to worry we can still do stuff while it's doing that so you're gonna wanna open Firefox you can just leave it updating in the background Okay, so let me full screen this. You don't really want to do root browsing. You don't really want to browse the web on the root, but for this, we're going to have to. And after we've got all this set up, we're going to make a user in which you can do everything from your own user. So you won't have to do everything on the root account because not everything works well on the root account. So anyway, we're going to type in slapped get and that will and we'll just click this second link and we're going to install the second package manager and we'll ch so right here just choose whichever version of slack we're using this will be 32 bit 64 bit and arm i'm using a 64 bit pc so i'll just do that and it doesn't really matter which one you download i'll just do this one i don't think it really matters you'll just save now you can open another terminal yes you can do all this while it's still updating this in the background the beauty of having multiple package managers on slackware is that you can have one packager you can have one package manager installing one thing and another installing another thing you know at the same time whereas on apt with ubuntu you can only install one thing simultaneously so that's kind of a cool upside so we're gonna do CD actually we don't have a downloads folder so I think we're just gonna do LS there we go so it all comes up on here at least it should oh no there's a downloads so we are gonna do CD downloads LS right here our slapped get package so now we can just do install PKG install package slapped get there we go now slapped get is installed so what we're gonna do to configure it we're gonna do slapped get and it will just give us all of this alright so we're just going to do slack s sorry not slack package slapped get hyphen u 
hyphen u and it will update the slack package mirrors which is exactly what we want it to do and while it's doing that we'll go ahead and download sbo package which is which has a lot more packages available to it than slack than um slapped get does anyway so we can just click the first link and it should take us to here and then see a latest pre-built package blah 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 we'll just click that and we can download it and there we go now we are all done with the web browser you can close out Firefox so it's still updating over there however we can still open up another terminal and install stuff so CD downloads All right, ls to view all the contents and now right here sbo package we're gonna do that well actually first we need to put the install package command there we go and there we go now that that's installed this is done over here so we're gonna go back to slapped get and we're gonna do slapped get i g slapped and g slapped essentially is a graphical slapped get front end kind of like the synaptic package manager that you would use for apt so yeah that is done so recently installed uh, let it refresh it might take a little while to refresh anyway SBO package is installed on the other hand, so we'll just type in that. We'll do C. I think it should show it by now. There we go. So now we have G slapped. And as you can see, it's basically like the synaptic package manager, but for slapped get. So there we go. You can get some stuff on here, but I find. Oh, yeah, you'll want to click update and have it do that. You can get some stuff on slapped get, but I find that SBO package or slack package generally has what you're looking for, and sometimes this slapped get doesn't, but it's still nice to have. So over here on SBO package, we're going to go down to utilities, select repository, SBO 14.2, yes. That's done. So we can just exit that out. Now we can go back. And now we can sync with the remote repository. So just like Slack package and slapped get, SBO package also has to sync with the mirrors. So we'll just let it do that. And I'll get back to you when that's done. All right. So now, as you can see on SBO package, the sync is complete. So we can just do exit now. So while this already kind of is a graphical interface and eh, a little bit, this will require you to install all the dependencies manually and no one likes to have to install all the dependencies. So we're going to install a UI for this that basically the UI will install the dependencies for us and it will just look a little bit better. So it does require one package, which is lib config. So we're going to want to type that in. That. Now download, build, install. And just click OK. Start. Sorry, that was my puppy Linux computer built, booting up right there. <laughs> All right. So that should be done in a bit, and I'll get back to you. All right, now as we can see, that's done. Now we'll go down to install, and we will just do that, and it will install. Now it's done. Press any key to continue. Now we can go back to the main menu, search SBO UI, and here it is. So if I show you the README, down here it says requires uh, it says that it requires libconfig right down here and 
You'll have to install that manually here on SBO package, but SBO UI, like I said, will install all the dependencies on its own. So that saves you all the stress of having to do that. And now we can just install SBO UI. Okay, so now that is done. So now we're just going to do install. And now it's done. So now we can exit. Exit. Alright, so now if we go over here. Here it is. SBO package manager. So right here it's just telling us that we're going to want to sync with the local repository. So we'll just click S and it will sync it for us. I'll get back to you when that's done. All right. So now that that's done, for an example, I'll show you something I can download real quick. A cool one that I like is Pac-Man Arena. So we can just type in Pac-Man and right here, Pac-Man Arena. It's like a 3D Pac-Man game. Now this one doesn't have any dependencies, but it's just really quick to install. And basically that's how you do it. And it will install the dependencies for you, even though this one doesn't have any dependencies. But yeah, it is a really simple and easy way to install things. Unfortunately, there isn't really a good graphical front end for Slack package. So you'll have to do that all in the terminal. But if you want to search for stuff on Slack package, you could just type in Slack package search and then whatever you want to search for. All right. And so as you can see, it's already done. So now we can just close that out. And here, Pac-Man Arena. And it's basically this fun 3D Pac-Man game. Anyway, so yeah, that's kind of just to show you some things that you can install with SBO UI. So now we just have to wait till Slack package is done updating and then we can create a user and then we've got our system configured. So I'll get back to you when Slack package is done updating. All right, so if you don't already have Lilo installed, then don't run that. I'm just gonna click no, but you can if you want. And now it says you can keep all the old files, remove all the new files, or prompt for every single one. I'm just going to overwrite all the old files with the new ones. That's what I'm going to do. So I'll do O, and there we go. Now that Slack package is updated, we're going to want to reboot. And then we're going to, once we reboot, all the updates will take effect. And then we can create our user, and then we're all good to go. Now in the terminal, you can type in add user. It's not how you type in add user. There we go. And now we can create a login name. There we go. And just enter, enter. Here we'll click up and then enter, 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 enter again, enter again. And now we can create a full name. Now you can create a password. And then we can re-enter that password. And there we're done. Now we can just log out and then sign in to the new user we created. There we go. We've got Slackware all configured up. Hope that helped you out. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time.